Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over how to conduct an a priori power analysis using the statistical software GPower. The first thing to conduct an a priori power analysis in GPower is to select the type of test that you'd like to run. In this particular situation, I'm just going to use two independent groups that we're comparing. You can also select that down here by selecting statistical test. In this case, it's underneath the t-test family. From there, we want to go ahead and select a priori power analysis. Now that we've entered the statistical test and the type of power analysis we want into GPower, it's time to enter the parameters for our power analysis. The first thing for some statistical tests will be the number of tails for our test. For the most part, we want two tails, except for some specific situations where we have specific predictions in a particular direction. From there, we'll have to enter our effect size. If we hover over our mouse over the effect size box, we'll get some conventions for that particular effect size. In this particular situation, these are the conventions for Cohen's D, which is an effect size. I'm going to go ahead and leave this at 0.5, but if we wanted to determine that, we have a calculator here that would allow us to calculate our effect size. The next step will be to enter our alpha level. Here, it's already at 0.05 by default but if we wanted to change it to something else, we could change that here. And lastly, we want to set our power level. GPower defaults to 0.95, or 95% power, which is an acceptable level, but most people only want 80%. However, more power is usually a good thing. So let's go ahead and leave that at 95%. In this particular situation, we also have an allocation ratio, which is the ratio of sample size between your two groups. In this particular situation, I want my two groups to have an equal sample size, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 1. Now I can go ahead and click on Calculate, and I'll get some results here. The important things are down here. We have our sample size for each of our groups at 105 each, for a total sample size of 210, and the actual power there is slightly over 95%. All right, thanks for watching this short video on how to conduct an a priori power analysis in the software GPower.